Question. If we are teaching and learning 21st century skills, should we be changing how we assess teaching and learning? There are so many skills our 21st century learners need now. They need to be independent thinkers. They need to have the ability to take part in synthesis and analysis. They need to be thinkers. They need to be part of a team. They need to be able to reason and justify, to use new tools, to be decision makers, to show a deeper understanding, to innovate, to problem solve, to make mistakes and fix them. They need to be critical thinkers, communicators. They need to collaborate, evaluate, create. They need higher order skills. They need to see things from the points of view of others. They need to learn the key competencies. Unlocking the key, learning to learn the key skills required for learners in the 21st century. Thinking, participating and contributing, relating to others, using language, symbols and texts and managing self. If we rewind and go back to the 20th century, there's some long held ideas. Remember when children should be seen and not heard? Think about the old way of learning where we had shallow knowledge, memorising facts, rote learning without meaning. Discipline was very important. It still is. And that you went to school to gain knowledge. When you think about all of the skills that were outlined on the slide about 21st century learners, you need to think how do we assess 21st century learners. Higher order skills are harder to measure in a reliable, standardised, cost-effective way. Developing key competencies, teaching learners how to learn, this is personalised. How do we measure? Measuring what children can do with knowledge rather than what they know? Future focused learning is personalised. Do our current testing methods reflect this? For example, PAT testing. It's 30 years old. It's only been revised three times in all those years. The tests have one answer only. Have you ever done a PAT test? I am a curious person. I tried out a PAT test. I discovered that some of the confines of the test frustrated me. The way my brain works, none of the four multi-choice questions matched what I was thinking. There was no option for extended abstract thinking. In maths, we're encouraged to challenge our learners with rich, open-ended tasks. These are not restricted to a simple answer. Our testing methods do not reflect this. The future. What jobs are we preparing these children for? What skills do they need? What are we doing about it? Are we doing enough? Are we, as educators, making the mind shift required?